Hey everybody, today on the Techno Gardener, we are going to show you how to operate and calibrate our very own Aquaplum. In order to operate your Aquaplum, you will need a 9 volt battery and clip some alligator clips, a small screwdriver, and a multimeter. Before you begin, you will need to unscrew the top cap. To power your Aquaplum, you will first need to connect the red alligator clip to the red wire from the battery. Next connect the black clip to the black wire. Attach the other end of the clip to the Aquaplum by placing it on the bare, non-colored wire. Attach the red clip by placing it on the red wire of the Aquaplum. To connect to your multimeter, connect another alligator clip from the black tip on the meter to the bare wire of the Aquaplum. Next connect a green alligator clip from the red tip on the meter to the black wire on the Aquaplum. Be sure that no wires touch. Calibrating your Aquaplum is a two-step process. First you calibrate it dry, and then you calibrate it wet. To calibrate dry, you need to make sure the sensing wire is completely dry. This can be done by wiping it down with a paper towel. On the upper right corner of your Aquaplum, you will notice that it says calibrate dry. All you have to do is make sure your hands are clear of the sensor and press on the button with a small screwdriver until the light lights up. Upon releasing, you will notice that it flashes. To calibrate wet, you simply place the sensor as deep as you wish it to sense. On the bottom right, you will notice that it says calibrate wet. Again, just press the button until it lights, and upon release, it will flash. Now that everything is hooked up, we can demonstrate the Aquaplum in action. As the water lowers down on the sensor, you will notice that the reading on the meter goes down. Likewise, as the water raises up on the sensor, the reading goes up. Hey, thanks for watching this episode of Techno Gardener. To view other cool products, visit vegetronics.com or click on our other videos.